Hello, this is Mark Powell, creator of TexasSnakeID.com and what kind of snake is this North Texas? Welcome to my channel. Okay guys, I'm not sure how well this is going to come out uh, because of the wind, but what I have here is a really nice looking blotched, well it used to be blotched, it's now a plain bellied water snake. As you can see he's flaring his head out, he's pretty scared, thinks I'm going to eat him, just pulled him out of the water pretty cool looking snake and yes he will bite he will strike if you notice I do not have his tail and he's gonna try to bite me again see his body is right there I've actually got part of his body and I really don't want to get bit if I can help it so we're gonna try to avoid that for his sake and mine but as you can see I am within strike range they're primarily fish and uh, amphibian eaters they really like fish, that's why he's swimming in the water. I'm assuming he's looking for some fish. And I was looking for fish myself, little minnows, and I kicked him out. It's pretty cool. Didn't expect to see him here. Yeah, he's re realigned his jaw. These guys are really cool. They are very, very defensive. So a lot of people misunderstand that as aggressive. So, yeah, he's trying to bite me, but I've got him by the tail. And I'm a little bit bigger than he is, too. So if you can imagine his position, I am a really, really, really big, giant, ugly creature that just grabbed him and as far as he knows I'm gonna to try to eat him <clears throat> I really like yep see that was kind of what I call a fight fix strike he could have hit my hand I am only about a foot away but he didn't really want to hit my hand he just wanted to back me up a little bit it's pretty interesting I love these guys lots of attitude and see more fake striking I moved a little bit Let's take a look at him. Look at the side of the face. You see those nice bars? Yeah, he's got nice little dark bars. That's an easy way to tell that he's a, a water snake and not a cotton mouth. So, yeah, the flared head, you can forget that. That doesn't mean anything. There's another fake strike. He's just trying to freak me out. He doesn't really want to bite me. I've noticed on this guy, he's got something kind of neat. He's got, look at the upper part of his body on those thin bands. He's got some green. And I thought at first that was some kind of a weed or something. There's no weeds in the water. That's actually his pigment. It's a pretty cool looking snake. Let's take a look at his belly. That's why they call them plain bellied water snakes. Let's just kind of flip him over here. He's not gonna like that probably. Yeah, see there's there's some pattern, but it's not heavily patterned. And kind of little bars on his belly. Cotton mouths have larger blotches of, of color. Hopefully this wind is not really causing a problem. As you can see, I'm in strike range. And if he does bite me, what it's gonna do is put little pinpricks in me. I might bleed just a little bit, but not a whole lot. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take him and release him. Oh, another thing, check his tail out. I just realized. See how his tail's got injury? It's pretty common for water snakes to have tip of their tail missing. I've heard, ouch. Yeah, he just bit me. No big deal, see? That's all it did. He just put a couple little pricks in me. Kind of like taking a... No much, no much different than taking your, what do you call it, your, your uh, blood sugar. Now you prick your finger. That's about all it does. See? Real minor. Not even a big deal. So... Well, I was trying to say is people. I've heard people call these blunt tails. If you got a blunt tail, it's a cotton mouth. If it doesn't have a blunt, blunt tail, it's not a cotton mouth. And I've heard it both ways. And usually, the blunt tail is from injury, from a, something attacking it. When they're little, they get attacked a lot. So let's go. Let this guy go. Unless you swim away into the water. Here again, I do not have him. I'm not hurting him in any way. So here he goes. Obviously, if he was aggressive, he would be coming towards me and not fleeing as quickly as possible. See, if I walk closer to him, yeah, he is going to leave. He does not want me anywhere near him. So, he's going to try to find a place he can hide. He's right there by my foot. I think he went up under there, under that rock. So, let's leave him alone. Thank you for joining me. Wow. It's about three feet deep crystal clear very cool part of the Paluxy River absolutely gorgeous up there you usually find some uh, uh, earless lizards lots of big soft shell turtles in here other turtles just found a uh, plain bellied water snake picked up a couple little bluegill pretty awesome